Hello everybody and welcome to another Minecraft video brought to you by Rob's Mind. And today I would like to say thank you so much for helping me hit over 1,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. That is just truly amazing. I've only been doing this for about two months on the actual Minecraft videos and to hit over 1,000 subscribers I didn't think I would actually get here. So thank you so much for all the support, all the kind positive feedback you guys leave me on the channel. That is just awesome. But now... Let's look at this redstone contraption, which was originally left into my comments section by Leon Brown. Thank you so much for the suggestion. This is a too wide hidden staircase, and it is obviously pretty fast on the opening and closing, but right here we've got a button on the inside. This allows a little bit longer of a delay so that you can escape it rather quickly and climb the stairs. But now, let's look at actually how to build this thing. So first, we are going to need a two block wide and four block long minimum hallway to start out with. Mine is five blocks long, but you will need four blocks minimum to cover up the uh, redstone and everything. So here we go. We've got 13 sticky pistons, 34 redstone, 15 redstone repeaters, three redstone comparators, one redstone torch, two redstone blocks, one hopper, one minecart with hopper, one rail, that is going to be a temporary rail, you'll get that back. Just over a stack of circuit blocks, uh, some glass, it doesn't matter, four, four blocks of glass, one chest, and one button. Then, of course, you can use your decoration blocks, your stairs, whatever you're going to be doing right here. <clears throat> so, we are going to start out... I'm g I've got a five block long hallway. I'm going to start out by going one, two, three, four blocks, dig those out, and then we are going to, on both sides, dig out two blocks and replace one of those with pistons. So we'll just mirror that on the opposite side. Next, we are going to fill in our floor blocks right there, and then we will actually start building down one two blocks like that to install our last two sticky pistons right here one two we'll remove those blocks and that's all of our pistons installed right there next we are going to put stairs on the face of these pistons so when they're extended they will be at the correct height and I am going to build my staircase down six blocks but you can build yours down however far you want and now that we've got all of that completed, we are going to start wiring up the redstone circuitry. First, we're going to start dealing with these side pistons here. Place four circuit blocks on the bottom side of them, and then two blocks, just like this, diagonal to them. On top of the first block, place repeaters running into those, and redstone running into the back. That'll power the block underneath them. That'll extend that uh, piston right there that will close your floor. So here we go, we're going to do that one more time on the opposite side to mirror it. Place in your repeaters, all set to the default delay, one tick. And then, there we go, got our four redstone right there. We will wrap this around, being careful to stay away from those two pistons so that we don't power those. Put one repeater right here, set to three ticks. Wrap your redstone over to here. Another repeater set to three ticks. Next, we are going to go ahead and worry about powering the other two pistons. So here we go. We're going to go over here, place two blocks right there, and we're going to have this in a similar fashion that we did the top two. So repeaters running into those on uh, one tick each. So default default setting. Don't change it. And then we will put a little bit of a different setup right here. We're going to place a sticky piston right there. Block on its face. Then we are going to take another sticky piston and place it facing down in this corner with a redstone block on its face. And we are going to pull a redstone signal out of that piston, out of that redstone block. And then we are going to kind of wrap the blocks around just like this. So we'll extend that one out and that one out. 
and you'll have a pattern looking something like that. We'll place redstone dust on these two blocks. So next we'll place a repeater right there, redstone dust right there, a second repeater right there facing into that block. Set that one down at the bottom to two ticks, that is important, and then that is actually most of our circuitry all completed. All we really have to do is the input for this. So you'll see if we actually grab a lever. <clears throat> we'll put it in our inventory and place it up at the top. This is a functional system right here. And if you want to del delve into more about how this actually works and the redstone involved into this, I suggest checking out my Let's Play series that I will be starting in a couple of days. But you guys know me. I cannot leave levers on anything. I have to break this thing off. I have to actually put a hidden input system for our hidden staircase. Yeah, that makes sense. So we're going to go and break this lever. That will open up our staircase because now it is unpowered. And we will go ahead and decide I'm going to put a, a hidden activation system in this. So we're going to throw an item on the ground. A hopper minecart's going to pick it up, and we're going to pull a redstone signal off of that. So, one block away from our redstone line, we are going to build three blocks down with a one block gap to our floor. And we are going to break the first one and replace it with a hopper. Then we are going to actually get a minecart rail on top of this hopper, get our minecart installed sitting up there. So we will go ahead and place some temporary blocks right here. And then place a rail. Place your hopper with minecart right there. Break the rail out from underneath it. Grab your glass. Or it could just be any solid block. It doesn't have to be glass. I'm, I prefer to use glass, I guess. But there we go. We'll place that in there. Remove that block, place in one chest. You can put a double chest going this way, but you cannot put one going this way. That is because we are actually going to use that side of the chest for our redstone line to come out and activate our system. So I'm going to just go ahead and say that one chest is probably going to be enough, and we will pull our redstone line out of this hopper right here. So we will place a block next to the chest, a comparator running away from the hopper. That will give us like a one or two tick uh, pulse coming out of here. We'll place a repeater just like that, running into two blocks like this. And one block coming up diagonally towards our redstone line. We are going to put a torch right there on the face of that block <clears throat> so the repeater will power those two pieces of redstone which will turn off the torch and activate the entire system and there we go we're going to build a 2 by 2 platform here place one block up right there comparator running into that block a comparator running back into those two blocks right there and a redstone right there. That is a pulse extender, one of my common pulse extenders. I use those in every build. I didn't design that, of course. Uh, I don't know who did, but it's pretty brilliant whoever did that. There we go. That is our system done, but now we're kind of trapped in here. So I guess the smart thing to do would be to build our redstone to actually let us out of here. We're going to place a button on the wall, just like that, and run a redstone line straight in between these blocks. Place a block right there. We're going to run the redstone line directly into the face of that block. So, this is how we're going to connect it. Just run your line like that, and place redstone on the top of those blocks. That will run right into the face of that block, and we will place a sticky piston facing up with a redstone block on its face and that will activate these two pieces of redstone up here. So sticky piston there, redstone block on its face, and then whenever we go over here and hit the button, you can see that it opens up our entire system and allows us to go out. That That is a wooden button right there. It will actually give you a longer pulse than a stone button. So if you're not able to climb your staircase with a stone button, give it a try with a wooden one. Then over here, 
we are going to take a look. I've had a few comments that are asking me, how do you get your items out of your chest? What I usually do is I set up some kind of contraption just like this, with a lever, sticky piston right there, and a torch on the back side of it. Okay. All right, those guys are apparently really attracted to that little area. But there you go. You've got just got a lever on that block with a redstone torch above a sticky piston that pulls that block back and forth. Two pieces of a ladder to allow you to get into your redstone circuitry. It's never a bad idea to have a redstone access room because things break in Minecraft a lot whenever they update, especially redstone-wise. But there we go. That is all I've got for you today. If you did enjoy this video and find it useful, please do hit that like button, leave me a comment, and please do subscribe to the channel. It does help me a lot. Thank you once again so much for your support, and thank you for watching this video that has been brought to you by Rob's Mind.